Ah, uh, Hamburg, what's going on? It's me, I'm here to be, and we have just beaten Hamburg 2 1 by two Levin FC goals. Um, in what was like, honestly quite a funny match. Um, I'll be honest, yeah, like I told you guys that it would be, clo I told you guys that it would be a close match, but I did not expect this match to be this kind of close, as in this kind of close, as in the players hitting each other. <laughs> um, so let's, let's get into the negative first, right, before I get into the positives. Let's get into the negative first, because obviously, you know, there's a much more positive than there is negative, so I want to talk about the negatives first. The big one. Boateng. He's got an abductor, I don't know, I can't say that word right, Abdu doesn't matter, he's got a muscle injury, right? Um, yeah. Obviously the tests and whatnot have not been made yet, but... Normally, you're looking at 12 weeks out, so you're looking at, you know, four, eh, two and a half months out. Um, okay. Okay, that's all I can say. Okay. Our best centre-back is out. Okay. Um, our best creative centre-back is out. Boateng is out, ladies and gentlemen. He's out. Obviously, how long exactly? We don't know, but we can assume... Based on obviously um, other players with those kind of with that kind of injury, twelve weeks, two and a half months. Um, if everything go if it goes well, maybe obviously a lot short and whatnot. But let's assume twelve weeks. He'll be back in March. Yeah, yeah. Let's say March. Let, let's say March. Maybe mid March. Um, okay. You know, we have Juventus. That's the problem. We have Juventus, and obviously Boateng himself will be missed in the Bundesliga as well. But that just goes back to my whole notion that I've, and I believe that this Bundesliga season is not, like this year in the Bundesliga is not going to go as easy as people think it will because I know we'll get injuries and I know that we will focus on the Champions League and the DFB call more than we will on the Bundesliga just because it's Pep's last year and now obviously with injuries as well, there's only so much you can do and now obviously Boateng is a perfect example of that first match injured, you know. It's awful, but it's just the way it is. But let's actually talk about the match and the positive. The match and the positive. So the match and the positives. Coleman. Coleman. You know, for anyone that's watching Flash, my name is Kingsley Cohen and I'm the fastest man alive. Yes, he is. Like, Coleman was running that match. Coleman was honestly running that match. And for a 19-year-old kid, I was really impressed with him. I know, like, before the match, I did say that I thought that this year is going to be Coleman's year. Just because I knew that Pep would work with him. Work at, with him, um, you know, at passing at when to pass or when not to pass. At developing his play and whatnot. And passing with his left foot as well, which he showed today that he can do that with his left foot. And all the things that I thought that Pep would work with him. Work, work on him. Uh, that was that was basically shown today. So Coleman, for a nineteen year old kid, he's gonna be the future. You know, he, he is he is the present and he is the future, which is just great to see because I kind of like I like that I like the kind of player that doesn't care about his age that just wants to play that just shows that he wants to play. And I thought it was um, great as well that he started ahead of Robin because that just showed to me that Pep actually trusts Coleman, which of course I love Robin. Obviously, don't get me wrong. Uh, in, a, in a, like a semi-final, I'd won Robin any day, but it just shows me that that Coleman, you know, he knows that he's trusted and that means he can play the way he wants to. But let's actually get into the match because we won 2-1 against Hamburg. And honestly, all the goals were kind of strange. Just, just kind of strange. I mean, look at Hamburg's goal, like from a free kick that just went indirectly. Like, it's like, what? What? Um, then you look at Lewandowski's second goal. Like, I, I, I'm confused. Like, why did Javi head backwards? Like, Javi was in the box, could have headed it towards the goal, but no, he heads it backwards to Müller. Müller takes a volley, lands at Lewandowski, deflects at Lewandowski, and goes in. It's like, what's going on here? Like, I, I, what's honestly going on? But I like seeing that Lewandowski got, um, took the penalty just because um, I feel like the team really wants to help him. You know, win the tour, Yiga Kanone, and um, we, ha we haven't actually won one in like the longest, like the Golden Boot, the Bundesliga Golden Boot. We haven't actually, we haven't had a Bayern player that won it in like eight years, I'd say. Eight, yeah, I think eight years. I think the last one to win, I'm not too sure, but, but I think the last one to win it was Luca Toni, um, and that was like ages ago. But we haven't really had 
a 30 or, two, or should I say 25 um, goals goal scorer for us and I think Lewandowski and Aubameyang they're really going to go at it for the rest of the season and obviously Müller is right behind him as well so he's obviously he obviously has a good shot at doing that as well but Hamburg themselves they like they didn't really care too much about the game they literally just sat back um, defended the middle so basically forced us to play through the wings that's why Costa and Coman got so often on the ball that's why they always tried to cross inside but they you know Hamburg crowded the midfield, so you could you couldn't essentially the pass that we crossed that we tried to go um do into the middle were blocked and whatnot and we're headed out. So I guess it worked for what Hamburg was trying to do, but on another day, if like our passing was much sharper <coughs> and if Thiago was much better, because today he wasn't as good. The same as Costa, Costa today wasn't that good. But um, yeah, but if our passing was better that wouldn't have worked at all but obviously today we lacked a little bit in our precision in our passing precision and that's why um we were mainly forced to use the wings that's why um you know costa especially coleman got on the ball so often and i thought that tiago in the first half was pretty poor like really poor because uh, every time he got the ball was he lost the ball but in the second half he got better and better as the game progressed and the opposite actually was for Alonso. Alonso started pretty good, and then in the second half he was just total. He was just a total mess. So you can see that the sharpness isn't quite there yet. Like our sharpness with our players isn't quite there yet. But I think for like the first match after the winter break, I expected a lot worse, and I'm actually happy that you know we won. That that we won in a style where we didn't look too bad. That we were okay because I was expecting us to be really bad after the winter break. And that is not the case. So all I can say is, yeah, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We we won two one against Hamburg. Obviously, not the most feared of opponents, but still, you know, st still respectable side. So what do you guys think? Like honestly, the biggest news for today is that Boateng is injured. That's honestly the biggest news for me. And the way Coleman has been playing, I just ah, let. I mean, I mean, all the Juventus fans that are watching this, um, that are watching this match, um, or are watching this video, actually. What do you guys think? Like honestly, like, like, did you expect him to be that good? Because I know I've seen, like, I've seen a little bit of Cohen when he was still at Juventus, and he wasn't that great. But yeah, the way he's played today against Hamburg, I mean, Hamburg did try to do their thing, didn't really come off. I mean, the only players that re uh, the only players that really shine from our team were Lewandowski and Coman, and you know, Batshuva and Javi, yeah, Alaba. Yeah, Neuer, he could have saved the free kick, but besides that, he was excellent throughout the whole game. Like, his passing was sharp, the pass for the second goal was brilliant. But, you know, um, I felt like there was no real standout. Like, our defense was basically non existent. Alaba had an amazing free kick as well, but I thought our defense was basically non existent. Hamburg didn't, f Hamburg didn't threaten at all, but we just didn't really play for. We just didn't really play for. We looked like we lost a bit of midfield today. We lost. We looked like we lost a bit of mobility in the midfield today, which really changed once Vidal came on. So I like to see that more, because um, obviously Lam and Alonso aren't the most mobile of players, and uh, yeah, like that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Like, tell me in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, this match, it was weird, but it was enjoyable. That's all I can say. It was weird but enjoyable. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, you can rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. You can peace out and have a nice day. Bye. I'm speaking fast. Bye. <laughs>